you're watching this video right now because you're thinking about retiring to Florida. But what you're trying to figure out is, is Sarasota the right place for me? My name is Matt Light, and in today's video, I'm hoping to help answer that question for you. I'm gonna talk about our weather, the cost of living, especially for those of you on a fixed income, things to do, healthcare, and what are some of the best places to live in Sarasota for you. Before we jump into it, if you're considering relocating to Sarasota and retiring here, email me at info at mattlight.com or call or text the number on the screen. My real estate team has been recognized as one of the top 25 teams in the entire country, and we would love to be a resource for you in that move. Now, let's get back to the video. Sarasota weather is beautiful, but and again, it can get pretty hot and humid. Being a local here for 25 years, I would say from mid-October until around mid-April, the weather is pretty amazing. But once May hits and we start getting into our summer months, it can get pretty hot. In the summer, it's gonna be in the 90s most of the days and the humidity, it's gonna get pretty high. The cost of living has certainly gone up the last four years, just like it has everywhere else in the country with inflation. So how do you kind of figure out what it's gonna cost? Well, let's talk about property taxes. For property taxes, I would guesstimate them to be around one to 1 1.2% of the purchase price of your house. Again, pure estimation. So if you bought a $700,000 home, I would expect to see a tax bill around the $700,000 range. Changing gears into utilities, my personal utility bill in the wintertime is around 60 to $70 per month. And in the summertime, it's around 130 to 160 dollars per month. But the real gem with cost of living, especially for those of you on a fixed income, is that there is no state income tax in Florida. So you're not needing to pay taxes on the pension you're drawing out. In California, you could be paying up to 14% of that pension. In New York, it's almost 11%. And in Massachusetts, it's 5%. So living in Florida, you're gonna keep more of your money from your retirement savings. People retiring to our area are looking for two main things. One is things to do, and two is how do I meet other people? I, I literally had a breakfast with a client and she said to me, she said, Matt, you know, you know, we planned financially for our retirement. Like we're good, we're fine. But what we didn't plan for is socially. And so I wanna talk a little bit about that as well. And so if you're looking for things to do and how to meet other people, Sarasota is literally the perfect place to do both of those things. Our beaches are some of the most popular things to do. And we have over 30 miles of beaches here in Sarasota. And while Siesta Key Beach is one of the most talked about and truly represents the lifestyle of Sarasota, you'd be missing out if you never experienced the rest of Sarasota's beaches. All of our Sarasota beaches have something special from Lido Key Beach to Longboat Key. These are some of the most beautiful beaches that you're gonna find in the United States. Sarasota also has a thriving arts culture. The Van Wezel, also known as the city of Sarasota's Performing Arts Hall, brings in national and international talents. Broadway musicals, orchestras, comedians, and performers. It also hosts local talent like our own Sarasota Ballet and the Sarasota Orchestra. It seats more than 17,000 people. The Van Wezel, it represents Sarasota's love of the arts. Sarasota also has an amazing downtown area. It doesn't have that metropolitan feel that you get in an area like Tampa. It's smaller, but it's very active with tons of restaurants and some pretty amazing boutique shops. Other popular things that people like to do in Sarasota are golfing, boating, farmer's markets, biking, kayaking, fishing. The list could literally go on for a really long time. And a great resource for you that has taken me hours to come up with and organize can be found on my website at mattlight.com. It's under my Experience Sarasota section. There you're gonna find a full list of some of the best things to do in Sarasota. Now, healthcare is a pretty important factor for retirees. Sarasota, we've got you covered. Our main hospital is Sarasota Memorial Hospital, which has been recognized by US News and World Report and received national rankings in more than one area. Lakewood Ranch Medical Center, Sarasota Doctors Hospital, and Venice Regional Bayfront Hospital are also active hospitals within the Sarasota area. And I know that where you're moving from, an important factor is how close is the nearest hospital to my house? Well, living in Sarasota, likely wherever you live, you're gonna be within 10 to 20 minutes from one of these hospital locations. So if you've made it this far in the video, you're likely now wondering, where would I live? Well, let me tell you some of the best places to live in Sarasota, in my opinion. First off, you do have some 55 plus communities such as Del Webb and Crestwind and Lakewood Ranch. I personally am not the biggest fan of 55 plus communities because I think it could really hurt the future resale value of your home. But popular areas to focus on would be Lakewood Ranch, Waterside, and Palmer Ranch. 
Lakewood Ranch is the number one master plan and multi-generational community in the entire country. It consists of over 33,000 acres and has been extremely well thought and planned out, hence why it keeps receiving the award for number one master plan community. And then you got Waterside, which is within Lakewood Ranch, but it's the newest area. And I love how half of the communities in Waterside literally have a boat or a water taxi that takes you into their little downtown area called Waterside Place, kind of like Disney in a sense. And then you've got Palmer Ranch. And Palmer Ranch is a personal favorite of mine because it has stood the test of time. It continues to hold an increase in its value. The proximity to CSD Key and downtown Sarasota is absolutely fantastic. But what's even better is there's hardly ever any traffic within Palmer Ranch even during the snowbird season. And if you're looking for the best place to live in regards to waterfront or luxury, my personal choice to retire would be on either Bird Key or Longboat Key. Bird Key, because the location is literally right in between two of the most popular areas and things to do. You're on an island between downtown Sarasota and St. Armand Circle. Also, if you live on the water, and you're on Bird Key, you have an easy access to the Gulf of Mexico going through either New Pass or Big Pass. So if you're a big fisherman, that is clutch to get out to those passes into the Gulf. Now, Longboat Key would be my favorite, you know, additionally, because it's much more quiet of an island. There's no designated public beach. You only have these public beach accesses. So you don't have nearly as many tourists on the island. Whereas Siesta Key, it's a tourist and vacationer hotspot and destination. But Sarasota is a lifestyle destination. And what I mean by that is that we literally have every type of lifestyle that you could want. If you wanna live on 10 acres and you got some horses and cows, you can do that. And within 35 or 40 minutes, if you wanna live on the beach, you can do that. I mean, come on. There are not many places in the world that could say that. Like my father-in-law, for example, he lives in the mountains of Tennessee. There's literally one lifestyle that everyone lives in that community. <laughs> but Sarasota, you get to choose which lifestyle you want. So this is what my team and I, this is what we do great. We jump on a call with you, we learn the type of lifestyle it is that you want, and then we help guide you to find that lifestyle all within staying within your budget. Seriously, like I said earlier, shoot me over an email at info at mattlight.com or Call or text the number on the screen and we can start helping you figure that out today. But if you're not quite ready to jump on a call, I have another resource for you. It's my Sarasota Relocation Guide. It breaks down each area of Sarasota and the lifestyle that would go along with it. You can download that in the video description below. And if you like this video, but wanna know everything you need to know before making a move here, then you need to check out this video up here next. It is the ultimate guide for anyone moving to Sarasota this year. So make sure to check that out by clicking the link here or in the video description. Thanks for watching today, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.